best way to learn Arabic vocabulary, grammar, etc. with a teacher. That's the best way. Um, <clears throat> with vocabulary, the best way to do it is to get a book. Get one of the books by Abu. Like once you've got some Arabic down here, uh, the books of Abu Hassan and Nadwi, Al Qiraat al Rashida, Sirat al Khatim al Nabiyin, not Qasas al Nabiyin, not Ibn Kathir's Nadwi's, Sirat al Khatim al Nabiyin, and Qasas al Anbiya, he's got. So do that. Uh, and um, read the text. Every word you don't know, look it up and then write the translation above the word. And then you're going to read the text in a day or so later again, a couple of days later. It's, uh, instead of using flashcards or, you know, what does, you know, or something, what does it mean? Uh, it's going to be harder to retain something without a context than it is to uh, read something, understand it in a context and learn it that way. So do that. Um, grammar. Uh, surf, you know, I'm I'm a fan of the indo pak way of, uh, you know, darba darba darbo darba, yadribu yadribani yadribuna. Learn learn the tables, uh, but with a teacher, it'll help. Have him explain it to you, and do a grammar book uh, with a teacher, and ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for ease and facilitation. And you can you can get there, if you have a strong motive, it becomes easier. When I was learning Arabic, my motive was I wanted to see, you know, for myself the miracle of the Quran, and you know, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. It was uh, it helped me get through this uh, the initial. You know, a lot of people struggled. I was quite motivated throughout. So do that. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah